Oracle eBusiness Suite architecture. So far, we, uh, we have been talking about uh, the technology layer within Oracle applications. So moving on. Um, now the other um, feature of uh, the technology layer is uh, Oracle alerts, two different uh, type of alerts. Uh, so one is a event alert and a periodic alert. Now an event alert is something that notifies as soon as a specific condition or an event occurs in the system that uh, the end user is interested in. And a periodic alert is something that checks the database for information uh, based on a schedule and notifies uh, the user um, uh, with the information that the user is interested in. So for example, a, an event alert would be whenever, let's say an end user is interested in uh, finding out whenever there is a new purchase orders that is being created, uh, let's say the AP wants to get notified with that purchase order. Uh, so whenever a new purchase order is created, a notification would uh, uh, go out to the AP uh, indicating that a purchase order has been created and they need to keep out for an invoice uh, that, they, that they would be receiving uh, related to that purchase order. Right. Now a periodic alert um, a manager within a purchasing department might want to get the list of all purchase orders that were created uh, where the purchase order amount is greater than five thousand dollars so uh, it might enable him to keep tab on uh, how much money is being spent within a week so rather than waiting till end of the month or hearing from the boss about the purchasing the purchases that uh, that are being made the manager of the department might want to see whenever uh, you know, on a weekly basis to get a list of all the purchase orders that uh, uh, that are being created uh, the above a particular threshold so here you have an event alert where an insert or an update to the database table would raise the alert and a particular action would happen and a periodic alert would be based on a frequency um, the scheduled task would kick off and then send that information. Now, uh, the application object library. Now, it is the large component of the application technology layer. And uh, it's a collection of pre-built application components and it facilitates for building of Oracle applications and extensions to Oracle applications. It primarily provides capabilities for developers to extend the operation of Oracle applications by uh, creating custom programs uh, that uh, interact with the base modules. Uh, so if a particular client or an organization has uh, primarily any system out of the box does not really meet uh, that particular organization's requirements and uh, you have to do or the organization will have to make some customizations or modifications so that they can fully utilize the system. And the, the components of the application object library enables the organization to make those, to create those customizations or to extend the Oracle applications to meet those business requirements or to meet their uh, specific business needs. And uh, application object library also provides uh, or and supports the integration of the modules uh, and uh, within the application and uh, and it also standardizes the functionality and capabilities across all applications so we talked about uh, in our uh, introduction to ERP where an ERP system is integrated and all the modules that are within an ERP system are integrated so that the information flows from one module to the other module uh, seamlessly and and also when the users, if they're using a module, let's say they're using an AR, AR module and they switch to an AP module, you want to make sure that the, um, the functionality and the look and feel uh, and the way the application reacts, they are pretty much the same. Uh, so application object library kind of forms that uh, foundation where it ensures the integration of uh, it supports the integration of those application modules and also standardizes on the functionality. So for example, if there is a button that is exposed in AR module, uh, which uh, 
which is used to save the application, the same button is used, the same look and feel of the button is used in the AP module to save the data within the AP and uh, or within GL. So. Okay. Now, the other uh, component of uh, the technology layer is the concurrent manager. Now, this is one of the key components uh, within, uh, within Oracle application. And uh, basically, the concurrent manager uh, enables long-running uh, data-intensive tasks uh, to be run on uh, on the background in the in a batch process and um, and also it um, takes it um, takes full advantage of multitasking and uh, parallel processing. So in Oracle Business Suite programs, uh, you know where um, uh, which might need a lot of data intensive calculations, you don't want users to be sitting at at the screen and not be able to do anything while the program is running. And what uh, the concurrent program enables the users to do is to be able to submit these uh, programs or these reports in the background so that they can continue on with their work uh, while these programs are run in parallel uh, in the background. And at the same time, it also enables uh, multiple users across the application to be able to submit their concurrent requests uh, in the background and um, or they can schedule these uh, programs such a way that they would be run if, if it is a heavy data intensive program so that it doesn't bog down the system. They can schedule it in such a way that it would be run during the off-peak hours, which would be available first thing uh, in the morning when the user uh, comes into the office. Okay. And the Concurrent program, they generate the reports and uh, primarily these reports are used by the end users. Okay, and uh, these kind of uh, covers the application technology layer. As we have seen, the the technology layer again enables uh, it sits between the technology stack and the product specific modules within Oracle Business Suite, and they kind of across, cut across the modules. As for example, if you look at Concurrent Manager, uh, irrespective of whether your a user is submitting a concurrent program. Uh, from an AP module or a GL module or a um, AR module, it, the way it handles is it uh, the concurrent manager looks at them as a request that it needs to uh, handle, and uh, once it gets the request, irrespective of which module it is, it follows the same sequence of steps. So it uh, uh, it takes the next available request from the queue, uh, hands it off, and then the concurrent manager goes and runs it uh, runs that request. Once the request is run. If there is an output, it produces the output and uh, uh, generates a log. So uh, the, all the modules across the system uses use the concurrent manager. Similarly, the workflow, uh, where all the modules across uh, across the application, if they, they use the workflow, they use the same workflow toolset to implement their workflow process. And in the next uh, segment, uh, we will uh, cover the application's uh, file structure and how the files are stored on the database and or database and in the application tier.